Well, let's see if we've got everything we need. Alright, we've got the tape measure. Good. We've got, um, this. That's good, yes. Got a pen to make notes of the measurements. And I have some rope, so that's all good. It's necessary. Okay, well, hello. This is your official welcome to Manly Men HQ, and I am very excited to welcome you to your very first measuring. How do you feel? Oh, bear with me. Uh, just a second. <sighs> right, I really should be more organised, but um, right. So, right. Um, okay. Uh, didn't. Stare at my body parts, okay, and didn't greet me with a uh, a fist bump. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to put you down fifty points for both of those. Yes, well, as we know, um, one of the things um, you know about this experience is we're gonna be learning about what it takes to be. A real man, and as we both know, real men only greet each other with, you know, a fist bump. And you must objectify me as as a woman um, by by staring at these zones. Um, so you know, we're not, we're not off to a great start, um, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, do you know anything about the process today? Mm. You okay? You you googled the process. Okay, it's just real men don't need to um to look things up online because they know best. So um okay okay. Well we'll keep going. We'll keep going. My name. Oh. <laughs> Um, well, um, it's Diane. Yeah, um, it's nice to meet you. Um, yeah, I will be your, your measurer today. Um, this is a very, very ancient technique. As we know, um, the size of your body parts do correlate to how manly you actually are, um, and therefore your self-worth. So, um, it's very, very technical. Um, what we've actually done is we've combined the research that we've done through the traditional manly measuring method with ancient Chinese studies that show that with doing precise measurements, we can actually learn about a man's emotional sort of capabilities and states as well. So, we do a bit of both. Okay. Um, do you have any questions? Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop you there. Okay. okay. Real men don't ask questions. Okay. That's fine. This will be a uh, bit of a learning curve for you. And uh, at Manly Men HQ, we are devoted to turning you into the most manly man. Of luck. Um, right, let's begin. All right, now I will need you to, uh, yes, rem remove, yeah, yeah. No, there isn't a, um, there isn't a changing space. <laughs> no, um, you can just do it right here. I mean, I'm going to be measuring sort of everything, so I'll just give you Wait, 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 what's, what's going on? 
what's <laughs> what's happening? It's just your your fo your folding. Okay, you're folding your clothes. Okay. Um, one second. Janet. Janet. gonna wait for him, for Janet to bring me a new tape measure. I don't, I don't think this one's right. <laughs> I'm just, just wait a sec. It's, it, it is, it has, it has been nice weather. Yes. Thank you. No, that's fine, just leave it there. Thanks. Okay, so. On with the measuring. Um, I'm gonna start with your face, okay? Now we can learn a lot about your manliness from your face, okay? Um, so let's just dive straight in. Um, right. Got the slightly shorter tape measure. Um, okay, so I'm gonna be measuring in centimeters. Just stay nice and still for me. All right. Um, I'm going to start going down the face like this and we're going to go all the way across. Okay. Okay. Average. Average. Not bad. No, if you just, you just don't read the notes. Yeah, it's all good. <sighs> okay. Right, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure your forehead uh, depth. Okay, now this is quite an important measurement, so fingers crossed. Okay. Okay. It's, it's not bad, I have to say. This measurement is telling me that you are somewhat of an independent thinker, so that's very good. You're not perhaps easily swayed by others, um, and that is a very positive manly trait, so well done, well done. Um, now I'm going to measure the eyebrows, I'm going to do some details there, okay, again. Very important. Okay. Right. Okay. Let's try it this way. No, 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 it's all it's all going. It's all going great. The eyebrows uh, actually sort of really frame the face. Um, so the stronger the brow, um, the stronger the man. That's, you know, as simply as I can put it, really. Um, you have quite weak eyebrows. Yeah, um, just looking at you right now, perhaps the <laughs> average person wouldn't think much of it, but um, it's my job you know, to notice these things. So, um, we can discuss ways to improve your manliness at the end. So I'm just going to write down, um, lady brows. Okay, lady brows. And we will find a way to fix that for you. Okay. Right. Maybe some little sort of, um, Um, 
Now, we're going to move on to the eyes, uh, the window to the soul. So, let's um, start by measuring across. Okay. Good, good. Um, the bigger the eyes, um, you know, the more manly, um, because you've got sort of more eyeball to, you know, stare at women with. And whoever you like, you know, it's very technical. Very technical. So um, you've got quite good eyeballs. Great job. Um, okay. The pupil size is a little bit on the small side, but we can't all have perfect eyeballs. So um, let's do down here important measurement just along there. Okay, it's pretty pretty impressive. Um, <laughs> it's good, good. Um, I'm just gonna measure just here. Mm. Okay. I'm getting that you're a little bit secretly emotional. Now, I don't need to be an expert to tell you this, but as we know, uh, men can't have emotions, okay? So, um, there are some things we can do to reduce that, that depth under there. Um, perhaps some injectables, yeah. Um, men shouldn't show any form of weakness, and um, that's what I'm getting from that area. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna write down all that. I'm just gonna write down. Uh, weak under eyes. Too much emotion. I'm just gonna underline that. I'm not gonna underline it again, actually. Or maybe an exclamation. Wow. Um, now for um, the nose, let me get my special uh, little uh, measure here. Um, so just stay nice and still for me. And okay. Mm. Yeah. See, the bigger the nose on a man, we all know what that means. No, the wiser, the wiser they are. Yeah. But, great job on being a little bit of a sleaze. Yeah, well done. Um, yeah, so, you have quite an average size nose. That's okay. That's okay. It's better than having a small little, sort of, tiny nose. So, um, not bad. Not bad on, on the old nose front. Um, would you ever consider plastic surgery? Mm, mm. Okay, funnily enough, that is the correct answer. Yeah, yeah. A man should be confident in uh, what he's been given. So, uh, good, good, okay. Right, just a few more measurements on the face, and then we'll move down to the rest of the body. All right. At the end, I will be giving you your official um, manliness score, okay? And obviously my recommendations. Okay. I know it's quite difficult for men to listen, um, so I do actually send you an email as well. Yeah, yeah. All right, that will come to you um, when you leave it, obviously. I can't do, uh, do this at the same time. Okay, so now I'm going to measure your cheeks. Okay. Now, this is quite an important measurement, the cheek and sort of mouth zone in general. So, again, I'm hoping it all goes well. Um, okay. It's pretty, it's pretty impressive actually. Um, if, you, if you've had no work done. No, it's just 
the chinks in um, the Chinese research really symbolised uh, manliness in the sense that it's how much food a man can actually hold in his mouth and therefore his cheeks. You look like you've got really good sized cheeks, so that's really, really positive. Yeah, it sort of goes back to the old sort of caveman sense of, uh, you know, hunter-gatherer, eater, you know, that sort of thing. So, uh, great, great. And then measure along the jawline. Um, so as we know, a strong jawline is particularly important. Okay, the other side. bad, not bad at all. Good. Hmm. I've got a bit of a mix of a face going on, I won't lie. Um, it worried me, the whole sort of uh, brow thing and the whole emotional eyes thing. But I think you've almost made up for it with the cheeks, yeah, and the jawline. Mm -hmm. So I want to do the mouth now. Okay, so just relax your mouth and now then relax. Okay, good, good. Okay, so okay, good. See, the more voluptuous the lips, the more feminine. So got nice sort of mean looking little lips and that is just what we want. So well done. Now, they're not very sort of soft though, um, again, well done you, because it shows, you know, you're not really bothered about taking care of your lips, which is very manly. At the same time, um, you know, if you want to appear more attractive, perhaps that's something we can look at, you know? Oh, oh, no, 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 I, I, I don't need to hear about your ex, no. Oh, you were really going to go on a whole emotional backstory there. Okay, we got to stop that. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. Right, uh, just make a note about the mouth. Good mouth. Good mouthy mouth. But we need a little bit of moisture. Okay, well, I think I'm fairly satisfied with um, the face, okay? Um, I'll just do the ears quickly, alright? Now we have found that, funnily enough, the larger the ear, the worse off you are actually listening, especially when it comes to listening to women. Um, you do have quite large ears, um, that tells me you are quite a bad listener, is that, is that right? What did I say? <laughs> good, good, it's all good. Okay, good. That actually ups you by 20 points. Well done. Okay, we are flying. Doing really, really well. So, now I'd like to move down to the body. No, no sort of comment there. Okay, it's alright. I mean, banter is sort of quite, you know, quite important when it comes to being a guy. Yeah, you've got to have the bounce going. Be slightly obnoxious, you know? <clears throat> Bear with me. <laughs> One second. Likes to respect women. Good. No, that's it's really nice. Okay, let's do the neck then. Okay. 
Okay. Do I have Mac? Good. Good. Uh, hmm. But let's check the, the length of it. It's not bad. It's not a bad neck at all. Okay, okay. That actually gets you uh, 15 more rally points, so well done. What's the top amount of points you can get? Well, don't you worry about that, <laughs> really. So, next we're going to do across the shoulders. Okay, so, I don't need to tell you, but this is particularly important. Okay. As we know, the shoulders represent strength. Um, and being strong, both mentally and physically is particularly important so um it's pretty good it's pretty good um how much can you lift you're more of a cyclist okay don't you don't do any sort of you don't do weights or no Peloton, yeah. That's great. That's <clears throat> great. No, that's great. Well, so this is just genetic. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, could you hold your arms out for me? Thank you. Now, it's important to have nice long arms. And why is that? No. No, it's definitely not that. It's important to have nice long arms because when you're at the pub and it's really busy, it's important to be able to reach over everybody else who's at the bar and just, just pour yourself a, a pint, you know? That's why it's important. Okay. You've got to take control, you know? I don't think you'd be allowed to do that. Okay. I don't think you're doing yourself any favours here, but that's okay. <laughs> right, I'm just going to come round here. So, uh, well, you definitely have uh, cycling arms. No, no, no. Look, being fit is great. Yeah. At Manly Man HQ, we do like to focus on strength. Um, you know, if you want to pump something into you to make you look, you know, by all means do so. Um, but hey, you know, the skinny cyclist vibe is... No, I can't lie. It's terrible. You are going to have to change everything. Yeah, but that's okay. We're here to help. Okay. So, um, just put your arm down. <sighs> I won't bother with the other one, to be honest with you. Zero point. I would like to see your hands, please. Just hold them up, just like that. Huh? No. Don't say anything. Those are a... Uh, sorry, I'm just getting a little bit <laughs> emotional. Just don't have to work on it. Your hands are small. That definitely doesn't correlate to anything. Um, so <laughs> let's have a little measure from Mam here to here. Here as well. Um, I'm just going to check the other one. 
you never know. <laughs> no, it's actually slightly smaller. It's not ideal. Let's do it this way. Mm. Just going to take the measurement from here to here. Okay. Um, about it, no, it's fine. There's, there's, there's always solutions, okay? That's what the women are for, okay? You focus on the hard labour stuff, okay? I'll do the thinking, all right? So, um, let's move down then to the chest. Now, I can see, and I'm happy to give you a compliment, great chest. Well done, you. So, let's have a little measure. Now I've got a, I've got a number in mind. Um, if you hit it, you get sixty points. So, fingers crossed. Uh, yeah, no, it's it's too it's too short. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's still good though. And let me have a little let me have a little feel there. F fairly. Well, I'm not going to say muscly, but it's not, not flabby, so that's good. <laughs> Great. Um, okay, I'm going to do um, your waist and your middle and your hips. Okay, so let's come round. Okay. Do you, um, do you drink? No? Okay. No, no, just, just asking. Sorry, no, I just felt like I sort of, uh, passed out there in my mind. You're a vegan. Right? As in, just double checking, yeah, no meat, okay, okay, hmm, hmm, so, what, um, what do you, what do you eat? Plus, salad. Gonna do round your um round your hips. Um we'll try and wrap this up a little bit dizzy. <laughs> yeah. Um right. Now hang on a second. This is a good hip measurement. Yeah, it tells me you're a little bit of a mover. Yeah, it also tells me. I'm just write this down. Dynamite in the bedroom. Well done. Good job. Plus eighty points. Okay, so we're now moving on to what the uh, masseuse would say is the towel covered portion. Okay, so. Uh, Drop that. I'm gonna get uh, my rope and this. Okay, so uh, the room is at room temperature. Okay, so uh, should be alright. So let's just uh, just get on with it. You know, I'll just get my rope. <laughs> I like doing it with a rope. Yeah, I can't explain why. 
I can't give you the full plus 100 points there I am gonna have to I mean you, you know what I am gonna have to do this I don't have to explain it I am gonna have to take off 30 points okay but that's all right strong 70 good good well um now what I'm gonna do is I am going to come round the derriere um just come around the back here and here. Good, good, okay. I've got to say, from sort of there downwards, things have really looked up for you. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna have to do something about that, but um, it's good, it's good. Right, back to my tape measure. Um, I am going to measure around your thighs, okay? Now your thighs are going to tell me a lot about your integrity, okay? So let's just, let's just have a look. Good integrity score. That's good. It's nice. It's nice. Now this one this one is going to tell me how passionate you are, okay? Now, as a woman, I like a passionate man, okay? So, I'm hoping for a good score here. Okay, so let's just come round. Hmm. It's, yeah, actually, it's, it's not too bad. It's not the full passion score I was hoping for, but it's a very good base. Well done. Well done. Alright, so I'm just going to add on a plus 40 there for those thighs. Now I'm going to come down your leg, okay? Naughty. And I am going to have a look at the knees and the shins. And I'm going to do your inside and outside leg, okay? So just, just relax. Um, I'm just going to, just going to get on with the Okay, so um, I'm gonna do your knees. Now, the knees tell me how much of a caring man you are. Okay, so let's. Uh, okay, okay. You care, but not too much. That's the sweet spot. And I'm gonna come down your inside the leg here. Okay, okay. And checking your outside leg as well. Hmm, it's, it's not exactly what I wanted, but again, it's not too bad. I'm just going to check your shins for shyness, so let's have a look. Oh, unfortunately you do have a little bit of shyness in you. Um, I'm going to need to get that out of you. Um, you want to go full man. Um, and I'm just going to check your feet whilst I'm down here. So let's have a look. Uh, yeah, that's... Uh, okay, disappointing. Um, we have some positives there. Okay. Um... I only had on plus 20 though for everything yeah um but the good news is is that we are done we are done now it's at this point that I would offer you a um, nice cold beer um we don't actually stock water in in the office um can I can I offer you um some nuts are they organic? 
whole nuts not organic right I no I, I don't I don't know where they were they were they come from no um okay that's fine um, you don't need anything Okay, I'm going to do the final tally, alright, so you just stand there, um, or feel free to sit down and have a little gaming session. Got it all hooked up there. Latest PS5. Oh, you don't game. Okay, I mean, I can take it out and you can watch, um, I don't know, some football, rugby. Don't watch sports. Oh, quite sick. Um, that's okay. That's okay. Um, just, just let me do my my, my tallying. Um, okay. So we had um, yeah, we had the twenty third. Obviously, we had the hidden points. Nobody knew about. Um, which takes us up to five hundred ten. Uh, we need to take off of that, obviously, but then add that back on, which takes us to 460. Obviously, minus that 100, uh, so now good, takes us down to 360. But then add on the 200 bonus points, takes us back up to 560 out of 3,500 available points. Okay. So, um, I've done the calculations. Now, for any man that comes in here and scores under a thousand points, we put you on a very specialist Manly Men HQ program. It's very intense, but it's to ensure that we can just really get some manliness into you before it's too late. Okay. Um, you have scored 560, that is on the lower end that I have experienced. However, I did have a 600 in here a couple of weeks ago, and through our intensive Manly Men HQ training program, I can say he's brought himself up already to 1500. So, the program does work, okay? So don't lose hope yet, okay? Now, um, there are some red flags here, I'm not gonna lie, um, some things that I haven't dealt with before, um, but you're in the right place. Um, now, the full um, intensive training program um, comes to a total of, uh, let me see, because you are gonna have to have some specialist things, um, just write the final price on here. Okay. Make that some fifteen thousand nine hundred and forty five pounds. No, we don't take checks. <laughs> no, um, you can just, yeah, just, uh, uh, I can accept, uh, you know, some crypto. Yeah. No, you don't know, you don't know what that is. Okay. Okay, good. Um, are you able to pay that amount though? You are fantastic. Great, great. Um, okay, if you'd just like to sign here then, please. Thank you. The end there looks like a sort of love heart. Oh, it's just meant to be a smiling face. Okay. Great. Um, stay there one moment, please. Janet! Sorry, she's got, she's got a bit, you know. Janet! Yeah, we've got, um, we've got an under 1,000. Yeah. 560. Yeah. Could you get the old, uh, get the old jacket? Thanks. You can get, um, uh, get Bill. Yeah. Bill's just gonna come with a special jacket. Okay. Oh no, the program starts now. Yeah, yeah, it's very important actually, but it starts now before it really is too late. <laughs> yeah. Just wait for Bill. <laughs> he 
schon ein bisschen lang. So. He does uh, MMA training in the, uh, the basement below. You don't know what that is. Of course you don't. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Uh, love those sexist comments. Uh, he's a classic. He's a classic. See the way he looks at me? That is a real man. Yeah. Okay, would you mind just... No, sorry, I won't tell you what to do. All right, can I, can I speak now? Okay. So, you are all strapped up, okay? And you're going to be taken to our special facility where your intensive training program will begin. You will be reviewed in a couple of weeks, okay? And we can see where to go from there. But don't worry, we are going to fix you and you will become a man. All right? Could you... Oh, you... That's fine. <laughs> God help him. Right. Who have we got next? Uh, have a look. Hmm, somebody who lives in their mum's basement. Right. right. Better go and freshen up. It's always a woman's job to look her best, even when. Uh, Men can look disgusting, so let's go and do 